production to robotics, control of a servo motor with the Arduino, and the sweep example. Now to perform the tutorial in this video, you would need um, obviously a microcontroller, servo motor, a breadboard, jumper wires, and a USB cable. Now, servo motors will have, um, you'll, you'll find many servo motors out in the market. The one we selected here has a mass of 9 grams and uh, a maximum um, stall torque of about 2 kilograms centimeters. And by 2 kilogram centimeters, uh, we mean that the uh, servo motor can carry or move up a mass of 2 kilograms hanging at a distance of 1 centimeter from the center of the shaft of the motor. And in, if we substitute this into the formula for torque, so we have uh, the force times the perpendicular distance, the force would be the weight. And in this case, we're talking about 2 kilograms times 9.81, which is the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, and then just multiplied by d, 1 centimeter. Uh, just don't forget to um, use consistent units. So if we have meters here, we should have also meters here. So we just need to divide it by 100 centimeters, and this will give you a torque of about roughly uh, 0.2 newton meters. So as a rule of thumb, uh, you can simply take the whatever value you have in kilogram centimeters and just divide by 10 and you will get it now in Newton meters. Breadboards. Breadboards, these are units that are used for building the circuit, the electronic circuits. And the, uh, the advantage of using these units is that you wouldn't need uh, soldering. And this is very important when you're still at the prototyping stage. And uh, as you can see here, so it's, um, it's plastic. We have a plastic cover with the multiple holes. And beneath these holes, we'll have metallic pieces with, uh, uh, with certain clips here. And the whole idea is that the horizontal holes are connected together. You can see that these holes will be connected together. And the ones here on the right, are connected together. We have on the other side, we have vertical, uh, the holes on a vertical line here. They are connected together here. So uh, all of the holes here on this line will be connected, are, are uh, uh, connected, uh, physically connected together. And we can uh, designate uh, them with uh, a negative sign here. And we can have all the holes here uh, on this vertical line also connected together and we can designate them with a positive uh, sign. Positive and negative here, they correspond to the uh, voltage, uh, the voltage on the ground. Here we have a picture of uh, the microcontroller, the Arduino Uno that we'll be using in this um, tutorial. The uh, um, microcontroller is basically a programmable device that takes in certain input, can process it, and will uh, will give out output, certain output. Uh, it will have processor inputs, outputs, as I said. And um, microcontrollers microcontroller are found in cellular phones. They are found in remote controls, in washing machines, in microwaves, in car engines, and in many, many applications. Uh, not necessarily exactly in this form, on the other hand, we have the servo motor. Uh, servo motors usually they end up with a socket, like in this one, where you can push in uh, jumper wires. And you will have um, three wires. Uh, one would be a red wire, which should be connected to the 5 volts pin on the Arduino board. Uh, we'll have a black wire, which should be connected to the ground pin on the Arduino board and uh, a yellow or sometimes an orange uh, color that should be connected um, to the uh, to one of the pins on the Arduino board. In this case, uh, we're going to connect it to the digital pin number nine, but not necessarily. It could be to any other pin. So as a summary, we'll have to connect three wires to the servo motor, one red, one black, and one yellow. 
the red corresponding to the voltage, the black to the ground, and the yellow to the signal. Here we have the connected circuit. You can see that you would need to connect a one wire from the servo motor, and it's better to choose a red one, so you can keep track of the connections. And uh, this is towards the five volts, because this uh, servo motor operates on a five volts. And uh, we'll have a black uh, wire connected to the ground. Uh, could be this one. Um, either one should be OK. And we'll have a wire uh, from the servo motor connected to the digital pin number nine here. You can find here an example where we have the servo motor connected directly to the microcontroller. However, in, in this tutorial, we will have it connected through an, uh, a breadboard, as we said before. Here we have the circuit uh, as we uh, connected the wires from the servo motor to the breadboard and then from the breadboard uh, towards the microcontroller. Of course, it would have been possible to connect the wires directly from the servo motor towards the uh, microcontroller. However, um, we're going to use the breadboard here because still we need to add uh, other components. Uh, and it's very important to understand how to connect the wires to the breadboard and then from the breadboard to the microcontroller. So you can see that we have the black wire here, which should be connected to the ground of the microcontroller is first connected to. You can select any uh, any row of uh, holes here. They are all connected together. So we, we have this wire now to this hole. We have it here. And then we, we got another short uh, black wire and uh, to connect it to uh, any other hole in the same row. So you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, because this is already taken. You have four different options here. So you can select any one of, the, of them. So from here, and then you're going to take it and uh, connect it to the uh, negative. So these holes here on the top, uh, in the second row here, all connected together to uh, they have a designation of negative which uh, of course is optional for you but uh, it just give you a guide uh, as a guidance to uh, connect it to, to the ground and then uh, we have the red wire now connected to uh, another hole here and then we had uh, another short wire from uh, another hole on the same row now in this case we were going to connect it to the positive row of holes at the top, which the positive corresponds to the uh, uh, the line connected to the voltage, in this case to the 5 volts. Then we have the orange wire here, which corresponds to the signal wire, and we have it on this row, and then again from any other hole on the same row, we're going to have another wire that goes all the way towards uh, the microcontroller uh, to pin number nine. So we'll have from the microcontroller here, we will have the signal sent uh, through here, through the breadboard, and then directly to the, mic to the servo motor to control the uh, angular, um, uh, angular position of the shaft of the motor. Here, what we did is we added the um, another <coughs> wire to the five volts here on the microcontroller, the red one here. You can see it's in the same row that we have here. So all of the uh, uh, components uh, or wires hooked up to the holes on this row on the top will have um, will get a, a volt five volts. And then we had another wire also from the ground on the microcontroller toward the second row here. So all of the components or wires are hooked up to the holes on this um, row will also be connected to the ground. Then uh, what you need to do is to download the Arduino software. This is, you can find it in their website, arduino.cc. From here, software downloads, you get uh, different options. So you select the one most suitable for you. Now, after you run the software, 
um, a window will appear looking like this in which uh, we have the piece of pieces of code should be inserted somewhere here and um, any code in, in Arduino would consist of two main blocks or functions the void setup and the void loop however in our case um, we already have um, a built-in code within uh, Arduino itself so underneath in the file pull down menu you go to examples and then you keep going down until you reach servo and from underneath servo this time we're going to select the sweep example here we have the code for the sweep example as we saw before in the nop example again uh, we'll have the heading here the basic uh, var uh, global variables defined we have the void setup and we have the uh, void loop var setup here we have again the my servo here if you go up a little bit servo my servo so we gave a name to the servo motor it could be any other name and uh, then uh, we here uh, decided that uh, there's a variable called uh, POS, POS short for position and, and this is where we store the position of the servo motor and then uh, so this is like a global definition then we have the void setup this is um, uh, run only once and the uh, here we're telling the microcontroller that uh, the servo motor which we called my servo is attached to the digital pin number nine uh, after that we have the loop that would run repeatedly indefinitely uh, first of all uh, it will uh, take the uh, you can see here uh, for the position zero until uh, it reaches 180 and then uh, it will each time by a step in one degree and then it will send the command uh, to my servo servo motor there will be a delay of 15 milliseconds to make sure that uh, it already reached uh, the required position then uh, afterwards uh, after this uh, for loop ends we have another for loop where it will go now from 180 back to zero in steps of minus one and uh, here the command is written and there is a delay of 15 millisecond and this will be run uh, indefinitely is a picture of the assembled circuit and while uh, also we have a usb cable here connecting the microcontroller uh, to the laptop one thing you want to make sure is to that you are using the correct board arduino board and you're using the correct port also this you'll find it under uh, the pull down menu for tools again uh, this is the code here and then you just need to click on this button here to upload the code uh, to the Arduino where it could be compiled uh, here and um, the C language is uh, translated into the uh, machine language and then uploaded to the microcontroller where it will be uh, run uh, indefinitely we have a video you can see here how the shaft of servo motor is moving 180 from 0 to 180 and then going back from 180 to 0 and so on